Hey everyone, uh, this is Leo Cittadini. I figured in case I didn't get a chance to meet with some of you today, I threw together a real quick tutorial video on how to use Google Classroom and how to add me as a co-teacher if you wish to do so. First thing, you wanna make sure you're here on your Google homepage and you wanna make sure that you are signed into your Google account. So you just go up here to the top right to check and make sure you're signed into your school Gmail account. It should be your westfield.org account. You want to make sure you're signed into your school account so that all of your documents, your Google Drive, and your Google Classroom are all connected. And then you can sign in from anywhere, access this from anywhere, even from your home computer. All the Google apps are located here in this little window up top. I'll highlight that for you right here. This is your app window. When we click on it, you'll see you have access to your Gmail account from here, your Google Drive, here's Google Classroom, Docs, as well as a few other things. <clears throat> We're going to click on the Classroom app. And that'll take us to our Google Classroom. As you can see, I already have a few things set up. The ones in blue are my classes, the technology classes. The ones in red are a few classes that I've already been added to as a co-teacher. <clears throat> in order to create a class, you click here, a little plus sign, and it says join and create. Join is for the students, the create is for you. Click on the create class button. From here, you give your class a name. Or whatever it might be. The rest of this is optional. You can fill it in if you feel you need to. And then from here, you hit, you hit the Create button. And I have now created a new classroom. So here are a few ways you can use it. One, right here where it says Share Something with Your Class, you can put in a quick note. And when you post it, your students will see it on their Google Classroom account. From here, we have our classwork button. This is where the bulk of our assignments would be placed. Classwork, create, and then you can create a regular assignment, a quiz, uh, just a simple question that you would like them to answer in class, or you can just post material that is useful for them. So let's go with assignment first. Click on assignment. Give our assignment a name. <clears throat> your instructions are optional. And then from here, you can add or create attachments, much like you would do with your email. So I'm going to add from my Google Drive I'm just going to pick a, a, a random document just so I can show you this. So here's the assignment that the students will have to, to create or finish. From here, you have three options. Students can view the file, which means they can only see it. This is good if you're just sending them a, a list of notes or, or some sort of uh, graphic you want them to see. <clears throat> students can edit file. This means that the students can edit it, but they're all editing the same file. So say you give them a graphic organizer and you'd like them to fill in different parts of it, they can all work on the same assignment at the same time. But if you want them to complete their own assignments, use the one that says make a copy for each student. By clicking on that and then assigning it, the students will each get their own individual copy of that document. And as they complete it and turn it in, you'll be able to see it and grade it. You can share with multiple classes from here, if you'd like. You can give it a point uh, system or leave it as ungraded, if that's you know what you wish. There'll be more in the second video that I'm about to begin. 
<clears throat> you change your points, you can change the due date. You can even add a rubric if you wish. And then once you have uh, decided who you're sending these to, you click the assign button. And once it's assigned, <clears throat> it will appear here on the stream so the students can see the assignment that you gave them, see what the instructions are, click on the instructions here, and they have access to the document that they have to work on. They can see how many points it is, et cetera. So how do we add students? Well, there's a code here on the home screen. Underneath seventh grade science to the class that I created, it says class code, a mix of letters here. That's the code that the students have to input. That means that the students have to go to the Google Classroom page themselves, click on the little plus sign up here, click join class, and then type in the code that you give them. And that code is found on the home page right here. Once they type in that code to join the class, you click here where it says people, and you'll see their names appearing here under the line that says students. If you'd like to add me as a co-teacher to your class, up here where it says teachers, click on the little person, put in my email address, and add me to your list. You can even set up a grade book if you wish within uh, Google Classroom. Under classwork, like I said, we could create assignments, we could create a quick question for them to answer, or you can even just set up some material for them to uh, look over. You can maybe give them a link to another website. or even add a YouTube video. You can even create documents from scratch to add on here as well. If what you're doing is a quiz, You can go right here where it says Google Forms Blank Quiz and create a quiz from scratch for them to complete. I know that it might seem like I'm flying through this, but like I said, I only have five minutes per uh, video that I post. So hopefully this helps a little bit. Um, if you need some further assistance, uh, like I said, I'm free uh, between 11.15 and 1.30 today, and I will be back again next Monday.